Are you in a situation where your laptop find it hard to meet your requirements? Well, this video is going to help you sort that out. When I purchased my laptop one and a half years back, my purpose was a lot different. I was into gaming, watching movies, TV shows, doing projects, and my laptop with 8 GB of RAM, 4 GB graphics, i7 processor, IPS display was doing a fantastic job. But now the purpose have changed. Ever since I am into YouTube, I use my laptop for editing my videos. But I find it taking ages to export. Thus, RAM upgrade becomes a need. Never change RAM on your own? Well, don't worry, it's a simple process and I'm gonna guide you step by step. Step number one is to find if you can actually upgrade. In some cases, the RAM stick will be soldered with the motherboard. In these kind of situation, I'm sorry, you can't really upgrade. Step number two is to find the type of RAM that is compatible with your motherboard. In the recent years, DDR3 and DDR4 are most prominent. If you have purchased your laptop from 2000 onwards, you are most likely to get either of these. Another factor to keep in mind is that the desktop RAM stick and the laptop RAM stick are different. You can't use a desktop RAM stick on a laptop and vice versa. The desktop RAM stick are bigger and have a different pin configuration. Now I will show you how to find your RAM stick. So this is one of the simplest method to find your RAM stick. First right click on taskbar, then select task manager. In the task manager select the performance tab, memory. Inside the memory, we can see the maximum data transfer rate of the current RAM, number of slots available. On the top, above total number of RAM available, it normally displays the type, um, either DDR3 or DDR4. Unfortunately, it doesn't display in mind. Now, if you are having same situation, well, don't worry, there is an alternative. Another alternative is to install CPUC. Uh, it's a free software. I will put their link in the description. Once you open CPUC, click on uh, memory. Here you can see the type of RAM as well as the size written. Next is to insert the RAM card. Now before we proceed further, if you guys like the effort I put in to make this video, do show me some support by subscribing to my channel and hitting that like button. Sometimes screws will be located in hidden places, uh, just like this one. So you need to be a little careful. So this is the 16 GB RAM stick I purchased from Crucial.
when you place it you need to align it carefully uh, never apply too much pressure as, as these are uh, delicate Now we will boot the PC. Voila! Now we have 24 GB of RAM running. It is highly recommended to remove the batteries. So this is my previous laptop. I am using it for demonstration. Then press on the power button a few times to drain out the remaining charge. In my current laptop, uh, removing battery externally was not possible. Uh, so I didn't attempt it. Uh, although I highly recommend you guys to do it. Also ground your laptop, that will be will make it much uh, safer. Another suggestion is that if you have more than a single slot and if you are looking for about 16 GB of memory, it's highly recommended to have a 2 AGB RAMs instead of a single 16 GB. 2 AGB RAMs performs much better than a single uh, stick of 16 GB. I hope you guys find this video useful. Now if you have any queries you can ask me in the comment section. I'll be happy to answer that. And uh, do share this video with your friends. Also subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.